In this video, I want to look at the taxation policies that we might have if we have a Labour government. Now, this is not intended to be party political, it really isn't. So we've got opinion polls that are, show Labour with a very clear lead. We're about a year away, that's a long time. Everything can change, so who knows? With a year to plan, we can actually do some useful planning. So I think it's worth looking at it now and in the new year so that we can make sure we've got our ducks in a row so that we don't pay unnecessary tax. Labour have said that they will increase, the, I don't know how do they say it, they say it in a slightly weird way, they say that nobody who earns less than £80,000 will pay more tax, which is like a double negative. I think that it should be said as people who earn more than £80,000 will pay more tax. Now I'm assuming that within that, if you earn a little bit more than £80,000, you'll pay a little bit more tax. And if you earn a lot more than 80,000, you pay a lot more tax. But uh, there we are. With flows of income like that, it's actually quite difficult to do too much planning. They have said overall that they're not going to increase, they're going to sort of keep to the Conservatives' spending plan, so therefore not have wholesale increases in tax. But of course, having been out of office for a, for a long time, they want to do their own thing. Um, I always think politicians are a bit like dogs. They like to make their mark against the lamppost so that people know that they've been there. And, and I'm sure with the frustration of years of opposition, they'll definitely want to make some changes. What I want to look at is some capital taxes, in particular at inheritance tax and uh, capital gains tax. I'd be amazed, it's a Labour Party, they're supposed to be socialists, it's Labour, they're for Labour. Um, so for capital, I'd expect them to be taxing capital. It, it makes sense to me. People don't often pay capital gains tax, but when they do, it really hurts. So a bit of historical context. In the, you know, the Thatcher years, the major years, the Blair years, all of that, through to 2010, capital gains tax rate was mostly at 40%. And now the main rate is at 20%. It's 28% if it's on uh, property. And there is a lower rate if, you're, if you've got some of it at the, uh, as, as a basic rate taxpayer. But if you've got large capital gains, those 20 and 28%. So it was at 40% went down to 28% under the coalition government and then 20% and 28% in recent years. So that seems quite low, it's low historically. And it sort of doesn't sit right in the, in the tax system because dividend tax, and you basically have a choice about whether to pay a dividend or to receive a capital gain. And dividend taxes, it depends on just which rate, but for as a high rate taxpayer, it's something in the mid 30s percent. So, I'd be surprised that an incoming government didn't change that and increase it to be something in the 30 to 40 percent sort of level. And of course we have choices with capital gains tax because we decide when we make the gain because you know we decide on the transaction so we can sell something. It's only when we sell something or give it away that we incur the capital gains tax. It is worth thinking about that and actually within that the other avoidance thing is if, if capital gains tax is high you really want to think about when you buy assets because the higher capital gains tax is, the less you want to sell, sell assets and the more you actually want to keep them for a very long time. Because if you die with them, you don't pay capital gains tax. That's the, that's the great avoidance with capital gains tax is, 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 is dying because then you don't pay it. I don't necessarily recommend that just for tax avoidance reasons. So the other one is inheritance tax since we're on the subject. So inheritance tax, the tax rate is 40%. It's been to 40% for forever and a day. And it's, it is very, high rate because this is all money that you've taxed and you leave it has been taxed when you receive it and now you're leaving it yeah you've been taxed on it there are some of what so a lot of people don't pay inheritance tax because of some big loopholes and the, uh and i'll put like there's four things so there's a very high allowance so for a lot of people they don't pay there's a couple they don't pay uh inheritance tax until they've left a million pounds so that's quite a lot um and it covers it covers most people so the allowance is high and higher than it has been historically so there's a high allowance. Don't pay it if you leave uh, your business assets, which includes like shares on, on, under AIM. That's a very, very generous allowance, I think. And if you give money and then live seven years, then you don't pay inheritance tax. It falls out with your estate. And actually money in your pension is held. It's not part of you. It's never part of your estate. So it's out with inheritance tax. And those four things mean that a lot of people avoid inheritance tax altogether. It's actually the only, the, it's the, mostly the moderately well off that pay it. Because if you've got like, one and a quarter million it's really you still need that money to live on when you end up being taxed on the quarter of a million at 40 percent which is exactly 100,000. So those four things and I would be surprised if uh, an incoming uh, Labour government didn't make those um, make those 
tighter. And the way that they could do that, they could reduce the allowances, they could disallow some allowances, they could have a lower rate for certain things, they could make it a capital transfer tax. So you get the seven year rule doesn't apply anymore, which is what the 1970s Labour government had. Or they could make it a tax, they could tax it as income on the recipients at the recipient's highest rates of tax, which would be higher than the 40% potentially. So there's lots of things that they could do. And in any case, inheritance tax needs a deadline because we sort of all think we're going to live forever in the deep in our psyches. So we need a deadline. So having a deadline to do our tax planning of the date of the next election or, or sometime in the autumn of next year does an urgency which is helpful to us and I think given that we have all these allowances at the moment why don't we just take advantage of them and if there is planning that we want to do why not do it now rather than wait until we might not be able to do it so there we have it things that we can do that's my update so I've looked at there's the £80,000 and plus on income tax there's capital gains tax there's inheritance tax um, so we'll keep an eye out for those um, if you'd like to be kept up to date, then please press the subscribe button and if you press the like button, it helps me in the channel. So thank you for that.